So now at four, it is a first alert weather day. A wind advisory is in effect now through tomorrow morning. The waves have been whipping on Lake Washington along 520 all day. As we take a live look right now over Bellingham, where it doesn't look like much right now, but in about eight hours, winds could approach 45 miles an hour. We are seeing the effects of the windstorm. There are lots of downed trees and power lines, leaving tens of thousands without power. And here, take a look at this. This is the current outage totals right now. Crews across the region have been working all day to get the lights back on in different parts of the region. We want to thank you for being with us on this busy Monday evening. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. I'm Steve Solis. Those heavy winds also impacted a cruise ship forced to drop anchor in Elliott Bay. Our cameras were rolling as tugboats had to be called in to help push that ship safely to the dock. Now we're going to get to meteorologist Adam Claybon with what we can expect for the rest of our night. Yeah, but first let's get to King 5's Eric Kazuko covering the very latest on that cruise ship and the record rainfall overnight. Erica. Right, Stephen Jessica. Well, first, I just got to show you this wind really picked up. It's a hold on to your hat kind of situation. I have it clipped to my hair and it keeps falling off anyway, but you can kind of see the trees blowing behind me and you can also see that cruise ship. It is waiting to pick up the passengers who are now delayed by several hours for their trip to Alaska after it had to be docked and anchored in Elliott Bay for a few hours this morning, packed with thousands of passengers coming home from their trip. Strong gusts whipped across the Puget Sound area this morning, knocking down trees and causing power outages, as you mentioned, including near Seattle's Ballard neighborhood, which you see in that video. It also led to that cruise ship issue. The Coast Guard says the Royal Caribbean asked for a spot to anchor the ship sometime overnight or early this morning because of high winds. Tugboats helped guide the cruise ship safely into to the pier near Magnolia. We asked Royal Caribbean for specifics about the process, but they released a statement and didn't elaborate, so we're still working to learn more on that. But I did speak with a passenger on board who shared videos of the tugboat bringing them into port a few hours later than expected. She says the crew is great. Passengers made the best of it, but some missed their flights as a result. Do not, under any circumstances, book your plane the same day as your cruise unless the cruise ship is booking the plane for you. Everybody whose plane was booked through the cruise line had their, um, their trips automatically fixed. But everyone that had to catch a plane that they scheduled themselves had to deal with it all on their own. So a lot of impacts there and the National Weather Service says that there was record breaking rainfall into Sunday on in Seattle, Olympia and Hoquiam. We'll have more on that coming up at five o'clock along with more impacts of that wind. For now, we're live in Seattle. Erica Zuko, King 5 News. Erica, thank you. We are seeing a lot of footage on videos, pictures of the wind, the rain, as well as that gorgeous sunset that the storm brought to us last night. But we want to see what the weather looks like wherever you are. Text us your photos or your videos as safe as you can to 206-448-4545, and we will share them right here on the air. But we want to get to Adam now because there's a lot going on all over western Washington. Yeah, here we go. Another round of wind possible again as we head into the night. And it's been breezy throughout the entire day, but with that next weaker system that's going to be coming in tonight, uh, it's going to enhance some of that wind again, as well as some of the showers that we're going to see into the night, although probably not to the same extent of what we had this morning. First alert mode again tonight through tomorrow morning, and that will be because of some of the strong wind gusts and this does include all the areas here in the western Washington lowlands and you can see out there towards the south coast Westport some of those uh, waves that are crashing along the jetties right there some more rain too and that's been because of some of the winds that we have around and advisories are with us until 11 a.m. on Tuesday sustained winds uh, those are more the steady winds between 15 to 25 some of those gusts up to 40 maybe even 45 miles per hour throughout that point more likely to see that here late tonight and into the earlier part of Tuesday showers they're out there they're going to be few and far between but check out where our gusts are right now between about 20 to 25 to about 30 35 miles per hour. So there's still breezy out there and look to stay that way with more showers on the way. We'll get more into the timing of the wind and the rain as we come up in a bit. Thank you, Adam, and a reminder to our viewers that you can stay with King 5 as we track this active weather system. You can also check the forecast, including the watches and warnings out there by using the King 5 app.